So this is a great question and let's talk how not to get burned out as a freelance writer, freelance social media manager, whatever it is. Okay, the very most, the most important thing that you need to remember is that your needs come before your clients. And this is something that um, is hard to learn when you're getting started as a freelancer because you wanna people please, you wanna be really good at your job, you wanna turn around things really fast. And like, even as somebody who, I've been freelancing for the past five years and I still like wanna make sure that I'm like, you know, always on, always responding to messages very quickly. Um, yeah, and, and I feel um, like I need to like deliver immediately. But in reality, every single time that we put our needs second, uh, we deliver um, not as great of a product as we could in the long run if we were actually taking care of ourselves, uh, abiding by our own schedule, listening to our body, um, you know, doing things that were good for us, like taking time to read and learn and absorb and rest. Like if you don't do those things, <laughs> it comes back and, and haunts you. Uh, it's like that saying that like, if you don't pick what days of the week that you're resting, your body will pick for you. All that to say, you have to take care of yourself. And like burnout is happens is a product of working too much. And I have been burnt out at burnt out at certain points this year, especially because I've had a lot of incoming work that I've never had before. Like I had a really huge influx of clients and I wanted to just take all the jobs and like there was so much going on and so much activity. And I was also dealing with a lot of other like business things, projects, creative things. And I just wanted to do everything <laughs> and I wasn't taking care of myself. And so it's been a journey to learn how to take care of myself and not always let the work come first, which sometimes can take some unlearning because capitalism, um, our culture, work hustle, all of that stuff is kind of programmed us. On a more practical level, I've talked before about this, um, but basically making sure that your meetings mostly stay Tuesday, Thursday, and then you have Monday, Wednesday to do deep work and you have Friday to kind of like wrap up the week and chill. Um, trying to make sure that you have some sort of schedule where you're allowing yourself time to take meetings, be on, perform, do your hair, do your makeup, whatever. And then you have days where you're uh, in the work, you're taking it at your own pace, you're planning your own schedule, like you're able to go out and take a walk in the middle of the day if you need it, where you have full control over your schedule and nobody else can touch it. And lastly, just making sure that you have things that you're working on that you personally love. So for me, I'm working on a novel that I'm really excited about that I've been working on for quite some time. Um, I also have a, a scripted podcast called The Last Station that I've been producing. We just have two new episodes coming out soon, uh, which is very cool. And so there's a lot of really amazing things that are happening um, in my world that I'm really excited about and that keeps me going. And so have those things that you're really excited about, those creative projects, those are things that are just for you, those hobbies, whatever they are. Follow me for more tips.